I used to have a job in trucking and transportation. Anybody in that business out there? Trucking, yeah, I used to, I got a job as a dispatcher. Now I didn't know this. If anybody knows the answer, feel free to yell it out. Does anybody know what they call a refrigerated truck? Anybody know? Reefer. It's called a reefer. You knew that? I did not know this. <laughs> and when, when I grew up, <laughs> reefer had a whole different meaning. So my boss goes, Briscoe, do me a favor, get me a reefer, and then we'll go to lunch. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna like working here, man. I go, say, what kind of reefer you want? He goes, get me a 48 footer. I'm like, whoa. I don't even know musicians who can do a 40 foot reefer. <laughs> Willie Nelson, right? Uh, Snoop Dogg, Bob Marley, that's it. Those are the only guys I know. So I made a few phone calls. I got handcuffed and fired from that job. Anyone else get fired from a job because of the open bar at the Christmas office party? Anybody else? Am I the only one? I used to work for this guy, and we used to call him Pig Man. And the reason we call him the Pig Man is the guy looked exactly like a pig, except he didn't know it. And he was always making other people, making fun of people the way they look, the way that I made it all the way to the Christmas office party. He decided the best place for me to sit, me and my wife, him and his wife. Now, I meet his wife for the first time. I discover two things. One, she was the one responsible for nobody getting a Christmas bonus. And two, she looked exactly like a pig, too. <laughs> that sounds kind of mean coming from a man, doesn't it, ladies? It does sound, no, 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 you did not. They were identical pig people. They were mirror images of each other. If they were wearing clothes, you wouldn't be able to tell the male from the female. <laughs> and then they ordered pork chops for dinner. I'm like, oh, this is not gonna end well. I've been drinking all day and now I'm watching pig people eating pork chops. <laughs> this is not gonna have a happy ending. But then I started thinking happy thoughts. I think, oh, isn't this nice? The pig people found each other and then they got married. Isn't that nice, ladies in the house? It means there was a wedding, right? A big happy celebration. Then I started thinking, if I was their wedding photographer, I would have put apples in their mouths. <laughs> Or lay them out on a table. You want to make a nice picture, don't you think, dear? Lay them out snout to snout, real close. I'll put a heart arrow in the back. I'm thinking we'll make a nice thank you card. I'm thinking all these happy thoughts and from across the table, my wife gave me the look. Now show of hands, where are the married guys out there? How many of you guys know the look? How many of you guys just got the look because you said you knew what the look was? I wasn't saying a word and I'm getting Joan Crawford eyebrows and laser beams. And I looked back, I went, now you guys know that was an entire conversation around between the two of us. <laughs> Her look meant, I know what you're thinking. And if you say that stupid joke out of your stupid mouth, I swear to God, I will end your stupid life tonight. I swear to God, I will kill you and your mother will understand if you embarrass me one more time. <laughs> My look to her was lighten up, it's Christmas, will ya? Let me have some fun with the pig people over here. <laughs> So she gets all nervous, so she strikes up a conversation with the boss's wife. She goes, um, so tell me about your family. And the boss's wife said, well, we have five children. And then I whispered, yeah, one that went to the market. <laughs> so I had fire from that job. 